Have you seen people having trouble to leave some areas just because of gender? For example, if it's a woman being elected a governor, a senator, or any senior position, whether in government, parastatal, or private sector, having trouble in leading those people. There are people who believe women cannot treat them, and they have all reason to justify. In some areas, being led by women is not a big deal, but sometimes such women might start fighting war which they do not understand. Sometimes, same same people will fight war. They are fighting like they don't know what to do. In most cases, it is because of altars which had been raised by men years and years ago. For example, in Kenya, maybe in Meru, there is a group called Jurisege. This group, they have altars only operated by men. When you go to coastal Kenya, there is a group called Kaya, Kaya men. These altars are mostly raised by men. Women are not allowed to get in. Even during Chege, women are not allowed to do some things. They are not allowed to get in. And when they are doing such altars, there are specific parts of an animal which they have sacrificed cannot be eaten by women. Only men can eat. So these altars can really make it very difficult for a woman to live. So, for a woman to live in such areas, even if she is very qualified, she also needs to build her own altars. The altars, the altar of the blood of Jesus Christ. She needs to break those strong altars which used to be in those areas for so long. I'm not ju justifying lazy people, no. Sometimes people are incompetent. So they can be rejected by people. But at times the spirit of rejection is because of the altars. It's given power by the altars around. So it's good for such a woman to leave those areas must build her own altars of Jesus Christ, the blood of Jesus Christ. So once such woman or such women build those altars, automatically she will receive or they will receive peace from men and the men will be easily will find it very easy for them to accept to be led by women at times it is because of teachings at times it's because of how older people used to do but when others are involved even a woman can make very stupid mistakes can make blunders and they will not be elected or they will be refused by people but once the altar of the blood of jesus christ which has been done by a man or a woman of God who understands what to do, a reason or his reason, then such women will find it very easy to operate in those areas. Even if there are some places where men have find it very difficult to lead because of the altars raised by women, in those areas women find it very easy to work without men. When they divorce, they feel very comfortable, they feel happy. To be with their own children. They don't understand that there were, there were altars which had been raised some years back. So if you are a woman and if you are a man and you want to dominate some areas which were only dominated by men or women, it's good to investigate the altars which were there.